Matt Roloff is looking to make some money off his ex-wife, but not in any kind of deceitful way. As Little People Big World fans very likely know at this point, Amy Roloff sold her portion of her family's Oregon farm to Matt several months ago. She has since moved off the property. For his part, Matt has been unsure what to do with this residence because his serious girlfriend Karen Chandler has made it clear she has no desire to live in the house once occupied by Amy. Can't really blame her for that, can you? What has Matt therefore done in response to the situation? According to The Sun, he's been renting out the home to a 59-year-old employee for a while now. Amy's old big farmhouse is currently being rented by a woman who has worked for Matt for a long time. It's the perfect arrangement for now, as Karen refuses to leave there, reports the newspaper. Everyone thought one of the kids would take it off Matt's hands for a discount, but that isn't happening and he didn't want to leave it empty, as he sees it as a smart business opportunity, the same insider alleges. There's been an ongoing debate over whether Zuck or Jeremy Roloff will one day take the farm over from their dad. The former expressed some interest on a Little People Big World episode that filmed over a year ago. This anonymous source expressed doubt it'll ever happen, though, not with Zuck, not with Jeremy either. I know most of the kids were happy to get off the farm, writes the son. I don't think they will ever completely go back, to be honest, which is a shame because Matt wanted them to take over. He lives in what's known as a double wide on the land and Karen sometimes stays with him or they stay at her new place. Indeed, Chandler surprised fans when she bought a new house last month. What about the couple's presumed engagement? TLC has not yet commented on Roloff renting out the house and it's assumed this tenant won't play any role on future Little People Big World episodes. The Sun, meanwhile, quotes an insider who says business on the farm hasn't been easy during the pandemic. However, Matt and the staff are making it work and get tested weekly to make sure they're safe. It's also possible that Karen and Matt do end up shacking up together as husband and wife on the farm, down the line after Matt maybe builds a new place. She would love to live on the farm but has made it clear she does not want to live in Amy's old house and wants Matt to finish their dream home, the insider concludes. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.